Poachers in Africa killed more than 1,300 rhino last year. It's the highest number of killings in six years, according to the International Conservation Union. Rhino horns sell for around $60,000 a kilo on the black market, making it more expensive than cocaine. The world's biggest buyers are China and Vietnam, where it's popular for its supposed medicinal purposes. Well, for more on the international efforts to prevent rhino horn smuggling, we're joined now by Steve Golster. He is the executive director at the Freeland Foundation, an anti-trafficking organisation based in Bangkok. Mr Golster, thank you so much for your time. Now, we understand that... Uh, that in, in Southeast Asia that the rhino horn is being used for medicinal purposes. Is, is that the sole th thing for fueling this trade? And, and if so, why is the demand so high? Well, there's really two things fueling the trade. One, if you, as you stated, is there is this uh, perceived value of it for medicinal purposes to cure uh, a variety of ailments. Uh, including even cancer. There was a rumor to that effect. So, But the second really biggest driving factor right now is the speculation of the increase in value over time. So traffickers are treating rhino horn like gold. They're, it's a futures commodity, so they're stockpiling this stuff, hoping that they're banking on extinction, thinking that they're going to be holding on to uh, an increasingly valuable commodity. Banking on extinction, wouldn't that put them out of business, though? If they're going to be sitting on stockpiles of this, I don't think they're thinking about the future of anybody, including their own families. I mean, they're looking like all organized crime groups to be making big bucks right now. And has there been any effort on the part of the government to clamp down on these poachers? Uh, is there any legal repercussions for them if they're caught? So we have seen some increased efforts over the past, I'd say, sort of three years in Asia. Uh, and we've even seen a few uh, bigger crooks get caught. This is a new phenomenon, but not nearly enough is going on. I mean, we're talking about organized crime rings with uh, political connections, corrupt connections. So these are well-protected syndicates. So the people working at the front line, the customs and police, who are doing a pretty good job most of the time, uh, they need help from way high above to look at who are the corrupt officers in the governments who are signing off on these uh, transfers of rhino horn through their borders and who are profiting from it. Steve Golster, thank you so much for your insight on this troubling story.